Hi guys, I'm Nick from Lathams and welcome to our latest video. As you may have seen before, we've done the tap demonstrations on our doors. One of the things that we get commented on frequently in our videos is that we use outward opening doors, which is something that we always recommend due to it being more secure. This time, however, we're going to use inward opening doors and do something a little bit different. We've invited 2017 World's Strongest Man Eddie Hall down to put our doors through their paces. Now originally we had planned to pit Eddie against our stock security rated door range which all hold certifications recognised by Secure by Design along with a composite and a UPVC door for comparison purposes using the kind of tools that you would expect an opportunistic burglar to find at home. These are the kind of tools that are typically used for testing but nobody wants to see a behemoth like Eddie try and open a door with a screwdriver. So we're going to try something a little bit different and use a sledgehammer. Now none of the testing that we've had done on these doors for certification includes the use of a sledgehammer. That doesn't come until a much higher security rating. So we actually have no idea how this is going to go. So stay tuned and let's see how Eddie Hall does against the Latham steel door. Jesus Christ, that's some testament that is. I'm getting one of these doors for my property. So we've got Nick here, who's a representative from Laban Steel Doors. And tell me a bit about the doors, mate, before we get attacking them, what makes them so special? What sort of sets us apart really from the, the rest of the market in terms of the front doors is, we've got our, our 19 point locking system on this, which is sort of our, our tried and tested. So 19 point, you mean all the? Yeah, yeah, so we've got the, the dog bolts, we've got shoot bolts top and bottom, we've got yeah, the side locks. both sides. Yeah, this one is actually fully certified as well to pass 24 rating, which is right. something we recommend for all front doors, whether it's one of ours or not. So yeah. this has been fully certified and tested. So we've got the sort of like, obviously the locking system, as I mentioned, the cylinder, the handle maker. And this is 100% steel? Yes. Everything's steel, even yeah. that? Yep, yeah. so that's steel, it's got a polyester powder coat on the front. Okay. There's actually steel reinforcement channels in there as well. It's mineral wool as well for insulation and weather testing. When you lock the door, you've got two here, three there, two at the bottom, and obviously the same the other side as well. You can so actually go again, it's a double throw lock. Right, so you, there's more that come out. Yeah, come down even further. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, speaking to you earlier, so mm -hmm. Latham Steel Doors started out back in 2010, and the crime rate in the West Midlands, so I think we're the third highest for yeah, break ins in the, break -ins the United in Kingdom. The United Kingdom, yes. And over 60% of the break ins come through the front door. So I guess that this is why Labham's steel door started out is because they got fed up of getting break ins with the local area. They wanted something that was reliable, affordable, mm -hmm. and robust and that lasted time. So uh, that's a little bit of backstory about why Labham's came about. And uh, I guess there's nothing more to get other than to get stuck into destroying the door. I see you've got some doors set up on the wall there. Yeah, Are they your have. doors? No, no, so we've got a standard UPVC and a composite here as well. We thought for the benefit of the test, we'd sort of go through what you typically find on a residential property. All right, and then from that, then. we'll go on to one of ours. Yeah. Standard UPVC door here is what you probably find typically on a residential property. Yeah, so if UK. you drive down the street on yeah. my, on my, my estate, 90% of houses have got doors like this, and this yeah. is like the standard UPVC. Yeah, that's pretty much what you see on most doors. I mean, obviously, there's sort of wooden doors as well, but UPVC, yep. um, you see those on, like you say, most of the UK properties. They, yep. they are everywhere. And then, Generic, off the shelf, bog standard stuff. This is a uh, composite door. So, yep. put a next step up from your, your UPVC doors. It's become very popular over the last sort of 10 years. Yeah. Um, so, composite makeup, plastics, GRP, fiberglass. Um, sometimes I'll have like a wood blade in, but it's got some um, composite materials on the front as well. Okay, so out the two, which one's toughest? This one? Uh, that would be tougher than that one, yeah. Okay, and this wall, it's normal house brick and you've got yep. a breeze block behind it. Yeah, exactly what a yeah. house would Exactly be. what he's done, yeah. So we have actually put some additional reinforcements on the back just because we're a little bit worried about you going straight through the wall. Okay. Um, but, you know, strong wall for a strong man. Let's give this uh, the standard UK door the beast test drive. Right, here we go. So when I used to live, on the council estate, this is exactly the same front door as I used to have. So, same lock, feels the same. So, let's give it a go. In, TV, <laughs> jewellery, gone. I mean, what we're talking there? 20 seconds, if that. Okay, next door. Right, okay, second door. So this is this is the composite door. So this is a lot stronger material. This is made of like wood, UPVC, plastic, 
bits of metal in there. So this should, I mean, it feels a lot sturdier. This should withhold a lot better, but um, yeah, let's go for it. Again, I'm gonna use a sledgehammer because that's what I would use if I'm trying to break in. I'm not gonna be quiet, you know, if I start using screwdrivers and chisels, you're gonna hear that echoing down the street. So you might as well go all out, don't you? Right, okay. Like 25 30 seconds <laughs> you got to think though like by the time i'm in the house people are still getting out of bed looking out the window thinking what's going on by the time i've gone in nicked what i wanted and got out they're only just phoning the police so that door is crap it's going to be interesting to see how these uh lave and steel doors hold up now so Eddie's already been through the uh, UPVC and the composite style door. So we've had a brief recess and we've reset the wall with one of our past 24 rated front doors in the Chartwell Green. We've got an STS 202 BR3 rated um, personnel door in the blue there. And we've got an STS 202 BR2 rated ultra fire exit door on the right hand side there in the anthracite grey. So let's see how Eddie gets on against those. We're going straight in with the sledgehammers today. Uh, it's much more entertaining to watch and a great opportunity for us to put our doors through their paces properly. The PASS24 testing, even the STS202, BR3 and the BR2 testing don't include sledgehammers on the, uh, on the attack demonstration. So we're going straight in, full ham on it and just seeing what happens. There we go, wave and steel door now in place. So this is solid steel, even this what you look is painted, that's not plastic, that is steel. It's all been bolted in, it's the same as it would as in a house and it's locked feel sturdy so i guess there's nothing more other than to uh, go at it there is for the past 24 i think they are tested is it to three minutes nick yes so they are tested to three minutes so basically someone like myself attacking the store for three minutes that's what they are tested for so i guess i'm going to give myself three minutes to try and get through this door and uh and go from there basically let's see okay someone got a timer okay three Two, one, go. on the frame around the, around the house, so to say. I've got it here. What time are we on? Right, 
got that one, got that one. Come on! Stop that one. Ten seconds. Three minutes. Ooh. It's nearly there. I reckon another minute and I get it. See, it's still not, it's still not gone enough so I couldn't even get the hand in and get turn the key or anything. It's literally just these bottom anchors. Right, so if this door withstands three minutes of that from the Wilson East man, <laughs> fair to say that's a pass 24. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Now this one is the STS202 BR level three. So they've got ratings from one to six, one being the worst, six being the best. This is three, so it's mid range. And this is more of a very commercial door. A lot more reinforced, 1.2 mil steel as compared to what's that like 0.6? One, one mil on that one. Wow, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give it the same treatment as I did the residential door. I'm gonna go three minutes and see if we can break in. And this is more of like a commercial setting. All right, where's my order? Three minutes dead. Yeah. Right. I've had a two minute break. So at this point, police will be on the way. I can guarantee it. Fuck the police. I'm getting in there. I've got a different strategy for this now. Because I don't think I could spend another, I'd say, three minutes easily on that door. Oh, no. Now I'll weaken the frame. Watch this. So, the only way to get into a property through a lame steel door is to destroy the house. <laughs> Not the door, destroy the house. 100% I'm getting one of these, these doors for my property. That is, that's some testament that is. Jesus Christ. 
Can we, uh, which we wrapped up here, can we pick a door for me? Absolutely, mate. I'm picking a door. Last but not least. So this looks different. It looks like it's hinged on the outside. So this is an outward door. Is this a fire door? Yeah, fire exit door is. So, and what grade is this? So this is STS202 again. Yeah, STS202. This, this is a BR2 rated fire exit door. So this is our most secure fire BR2. exit. BR2. BR2, yeah. yeah. So it's a low rating fire exit. So mm -hmm. it's going to go on commercial properties. Yeah, exactly that. On the, like the, when you get hallways and apartments, that kind of thing. Now I notice you've covered the bricks here. Yeah. So me attacking the frame is off the cards. <laughs> yeah, we figured that might be the weaker point. So yeah. put that off the, off the table for you. Okay. That's solid. Yeah. I mean, me just being Joe Vlogs, I'm going to attack the hinges first and just see what happens. Okay. Hamstrings, my hips. Oh, that's not doing anything. I don't think it'll be as good as a sledgehammer, but... Three minutes. I think you were right. Even though it's a lower rating because it's an, an outwards opening door. So much harder, so much harder. See, see I've managed to get the front skin off. And it, I hope that's not fucking his best. <laughs> so I managed to get the front skin off, but it's still, bolted to the frame so even though it loops the doors opening it's not I'm gonna say even attacking the framework it's out the question because of this I don't want to continue with this one I'm just gonna kill myself I reckon I could spend at least let's say I've done three I could spend at least another seven minutes and not get in there easily mm -hmm. I think it'll take two of me probably a good ten minutes two of us just taking it in turns going at it with a sledgehammer to get in that door so the difference from an inwards opening to an outwards opening is insane. So would you say as a, as a guide for most people out there, always, always as a rule of thumb, try and have an outward, outward opening door? Always more secure. Always more secure. Yeah. Right, evidently. I don't know why the police use these. They are absolute shit. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm going to do another. Another 10 hits, just right down the middle. Let's just see what happens. Fair play, I've been defeated there. Oh. Just 
smart even. I mean, all it's done is dated, dented the outside paneling. In terms of the actual door, it's done fuck all. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, that's a wrap for the door. So, just to prove a point, though, the general public door, you might as well leave your front door wide open. Matt's been brutally honest. Like a normal 10 stone bloke could probably kick that down within, within 10, 20 seconds. Composites a little bit more, maybe a minute for the average person. But these, Jesus. I mean, we're talking three minutes 10. What was that? Three minutes 50. And that's when I learned, that's when I'm learning the tips and, you know, the tips and tricks of where to hit. And these guys are even telling me where to hit, where all the locks are, where the anchors are. And then this one, again, and this is the most impressive. And I think the more the point is just because it's outwards opening. I haven't even made a dent in it. I mean, yes, of course the panel damage, but <clears throat> in terms of the actual door, nothing. I reckon, as I say, I reckon two of me for 10 minutes, taking it in turns with a sledgehammer, might just get through it. But yeah, one person, the police are gonna arrive long before you get through that door. So uh, yeah, fair play, good quality. Right, who's gonna show me around the factory and let me pick my door out, eh? I'm 25 stone though, am I?